Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I would like to show you the journal that I was uh, making tutorial of. Um, I was showing in a tutorial how I was making this journal. So I finally finished this one. This is my last uh, greeting card journal for this season. I made uh, 32 of these. This one is a little different though. This one... Um, I embellish differently and so you'll see in a second but the card is just like all the other cards this is seven by five and I'm going to link the tutorial below so you can see uh, when I was making how I was making this journal how I made it um, so this journal is a little different than the previous batch batches because I made three this one I also added um, fabric on the spine because I had a little bit more, more stuff inside so I added this beautiful trim and it's blue and it kind of has like silver thread going through it really pretty then it also double wraps uh, wraps with the jute twine and here I also made the tassel so it has a tassel attachment and it also comes with this detachable tassel here, as you can see, and um, I added the charms to the tassel, but of course you can put the charms right here, just like the other ones had them here. So this is removable on a pin, so you can move this charm. And then the tassel is made with the um, beautiful ribbons from Amazon I got I was showing you and also these cute look at these ribbons how pretty this one has some silver pink and silver this one is blue um, these are from Hobby Lobby and I was also showing them in my uh, haul videos I'm going to link those videos as well so you can see the ribbons and how they come because I talk about the ribbons in those videos so so this one comes with this tassel charm is attached to the tassel but can be removed and this one also has this trim the fabric on the spine so this is how it looks a little different and then inside just like we made it on a video I have a couple things here and um, how cool I thought because I I found this cute card and it has the snowflakes just like this journaling card so you know you can incorpor incorporate it in a journal same with this one I cannot get over this paper I got this paper at Tuesday morning and I was also showing it in my haul so I love this paper it's double sided so you can make um, you can make a tuck spot with this paper somewhere in a journal and um, in many different ways. Such a pretty pattern. And then here, see this journal has little stuff a little differently than the other uh, journals. So this paper, I don't know if you can tell or not, this shimmers. This is paper from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I found this. This is like brick red. And then this is a die cut with the paper from Tuesday morning I was also showing. So here I made a flip. Like the other journals, I left this like that. In this journal, I made a flip. So this gives you space to journal also here. So let me put this back. And here I have library card on the front and then this cute tag. Because there's the snowman here, uh, I mean Santa here, and there are also Santas on this paper. So I thought that was pretty. And then these colors match this nicely. And then this is a sticker. So here I made a tuck spot with the Rolodex card. Like in the other journals, I was including this as just, uh, you know, loose ephemera. And here 
I have it as tuck spot. So you can put stuff in there. And this again, beautiful, beautiful paper from um, Dollar Tree. But look at this blue, so pretty. Like matches all the stuff here and like this ribbon here and the other ribbons because they have some shimmer, those ribbons. And then this is also pretty and shiny, this tag. So all sorts of things here. Let me see if I'm in the center. This is paper from um, eBay, but I made another video with paper that I purchased on Amazon, which is pretty much um, just different colors. It's paper like this, the same uh, amount of pages, it's just different colors. And this is guest check. You can glue it somewhere in a journal or not. So uh, still a lot of space to journal, as you can see, vintage uh, music sheets. And then here's this beautiful paper again, double-sided. So you can add a picture here or you can glue something like for example this ephemera that i'm including this is actually foldable but you could glue it if you want to create create more space to journal you can just glue this down and just journal here you could even do like this put a little sticker or something so that's in a paper bag And another thing I have in here is this tag, special delivery. And it's, um, you can turn on it. So you can see it through the bag. Then here is this uh, lined paper tuck spot, or like, or a pocket. And it has a tag. And then this paper. So you can, you can always cut these papers in smaller, uh, into smaller pieces and glue somewhere in a journal for description if you need uh, um, paper to uh, create contrast like for example here you could cut a little piece here and glue it here and then just journal here so and then here I have this sticker Christmas tree this glitter because see is this this journal has more glitter like this paper here underneath is this beautiful paper from Dollar Tree, glittered. And then this is from Hobby Lobby. I was also showing this stuff. And then this, I did not cut that. You can cut these two, or you can keep it the way it is. This ephemera from Paper Pad from Hobby Lobby. Or you can just glue this together and you have a cute tag. So, I'm keeping it here for you if you wanted to glue it together for little crafts, little projects. So this glitter here, then there's glitter on these bows on this paper, and then this glitter here. And then of course, a lot of space to journal underneath. Here's this um, die cut. I was talking about it in my last haul video that I'm going to link below what you can do with these die cuts. You can color them, you can um, color them with markers, with crayons, use glitter on them. You can make them really, really beautiful. Actually, I might need to do that too. This is so pretty. And coloring book pages, this is white paper, so you can journal on it. Or you could uh, stencil through this uh, doily. It's a beautiful red doily with snowflakes and paper, Christmas book. I bought a lot of these books from Dollar Tree when they had them. And then past middle of the signature or paper is going to repeat. So this is the coloring book page. This is a napkin. I've been adding napkins to my journals recently because they're just so cute, these napkins from Tuesday morning. You can decoupage it or you can just glue it or you can just glue something here to keep it uh, stay so you don't have to have this paper clip on top. But other than that, this is just paper underneath it. 
and on both sides. So then here we have the other side of this open pocket and here I already glued this cute ephemera but then you have all sorts of other tags to play with and a large one that could also be a tuck spot you could make it into a tuck spot glue it and then I'm also adding this beautiful paper so you can again cut it into tags or tuck spots or you know uh, cut it in half and you would have the triangle tuck spot so I'm including it as well and then here is another shiny tag so this journal is very colorful so you can tell more work than the other ones and here's another piece you can decide what to do with this one and this cute tag I found probably from Tuesday morning but can't tell for sure maybe Dollar Tree but I think Tuesday morning so I'm clipping it here and then here the the other side of the paper bag he was the here was the the first part and here is the second part of the um, paper bag so here I already collaged it so just to give you an idea what you can do with the paper bags you can also embellish them they don't have to stay like that you know you can um, add things to them so here I have this um, used uh, gift wrapping paper and then this was there was um, tape on it so it was I took the tape off but it was still sticky so I added this green piece of paper here and this piece too to kind of hold it together but also to kind of give it like ground and you know it's just sitting on something and here is from this paper left over I just added it so you can journal on it and then snowflake again shimmery glittery and here's another one so I think it came out cute and then this part here is from the paper bags from the journals that I was making using paper bags the leftover paper I am also using in journals as you can tell so it's like a tab and then here is beautiful paper from Dollar Tree kind of like handmade paper so you can decide what to do with this and then here I didn't fix the uh, vintage playing card into the journal so you can you can glue it or you or you can keep it like this or you can use it somewhere else and here's a brown tag so I'm putting it together here then on this side I made this card it's kind of cute um, so I used Dollar Tree paper and I'm including papers like that the pieces of paper in my journals and then I'm also including um, these cards so you can you know be creative and make little collages and stuff so here again I added leftover paper on top and bottom a little book page for um, contrast and then again I have Christmas tree and then this is a die cut made with the uh, green paper I was just showing you and then this is look at this so cute this is a uh, sticker from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to have in that linked below um, haul video. So you can see those, uh, you can see how they come when you buy them. And then it has a little, you know, uh, you can hang it. You can even, uh, it would look really pretty if you made a journal and put it on a front cover. That would work too. So many ways to use it. Or you can just glue it. And have a uh, pocket so this is all fixed so shiny and pretty and then this um, eyelash trim is also shiny and this is the vintage book page here again I glued Santa here to look 
pretty. And belly band with few things. So book page, so you can use it uh, for decorating maybe tags and stuff. You could tear a piece, glue it on this, and glue this on top, and what a, what a unique tag, right? So, so this is wired ribbon. And I have this purple thing because there's purple here and green. So green and purple to look pretty together. And then journaling card. And this season greetings tag. So, you know, I'm just showing you what you can do with this, but you don't have to do, um, you don't have to use my ideas, you might, but you know, I'm just letting you know what you can actually do with this if you are interested. And then you can have the, you can read the sentiment. If you don't like it, then you can cover it with one of these pieces that are in a journal and, uh, you know. So I think this one turned out very unique because it's different than all the other ones. I spent more time on this one, as you can tell. But this also gives you idea what to do with those uh, other journals if you purchase them from me. That you can make the collages and extend the page. And I really like how this one turned out. So this journal is available for sale at my Etsy shop. I'm going to link it so you can see where it's available. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this one. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.